So should I buy this stack? That's a, probably an interesting question, uh, and it won't be for everyone. So if you don't like messing about with different valves, and you're pretty happy with your existing DAC in terms of the way it sounds uh, from a treble and bass perspective and you know you really want something that's plug and play then yes you can do that with a Lampasator but you're not going to get the best out of it the beauty of this unit is the ability to to change your valves and that's as simple as that and once you've changed them to the ones you want great you can probably stick with that. I don't I don't roll them very often now because I've been through so many. From a price perspective, you will need to budget, I think, for these extra valves because the cost of the unit itself, if unless you're happy with it out of the box and you may have that nagging feeling that this could this could be improved, um, you may find that you want to buy more and you want to try it for yourself. There are different opinions on as you can imagine on these on the sorts of sounds you can get. So this is a kind of tinkerer's unit. It actually requires quite a bit of research. You will end up on forums, you'll be looking at people's opinions. When you listen to people talking about valves, don't listen to the thing, oh it's the best thing ever. Listen to what does it actually sound like to them, because that will give you a view of what they like and whether or not that suits what you like. So somebody starts off with, this is the best valve ever. And with that 5U4G you will see a lot of people really hyping that up. Um, is it the best ever? Well it might not be in my system. It might actually be changing the sound in the wrong way. I don't like it. So you have to be very careful otherwise you will end up buying a whole load of very expensive old valves that potentially make your system worse. So yes if you have the time and you are willing to put the effort in to play around with valves, to buy things from America, to ship things in from Yugoslavia or wherever else they come from then this is a great, great unit for you. If you want plug and play, if you would prefer to change your entire DAC every time for a different sound, then I probably wouldn't bother with this, because you're just not going to get the best out of it. Now what about the money? Well, only you can answer that. These are very expensive. I think from a sound perspective, given what they do, the sound of the sound stage, sorry, the size of the sound stage, the layering of instruments, the accuracy that the DAC portrays, it makes vocals sound real. It really, really does not sound like a digital artificial sound uh, that's brittle or sharp. In that sense, I think it's worth it. But only you can judge that for yourself. And obviously listen to a few units if you can, uh, just to see what's, what's your best fit. There is no such thing as best in hi-fi. This is one of the more, I would call, romantic sounding units. In other words, it is going to change the sound somewhat. It is going to add a little bit, and I wouldn't say a lot, but a little bit of bloom into the mid-range. It probably is going to soften the treble a tiny bit. It's not going to be the sharpest stack out there. And if you don't like that, do not buy this stack. Now, just another caveat here. And I'm going to move the camera over just to show you a little bit of front-end kit here. Just, to, just so you can see what I've got powering this. So this is an Aurelic Aries Femto. It has a uh, Sean Jacobs DC3 DAC, uh, power supply on it which is actually about £2,000 worth and it has a reclocker as well which is that strange looking silver box sitting out the back of it and on the right you can see a small power supply for the reclocker and at the top you can see the DC cable I actually built myself going into it. So why does that matter? Well this stack is actually quite affected by the quality of the kit you put into it. So adding the DC3 power supply made a big difference to the sound quality that this stack has and you can't see it in the picture here but I also have an ether regen that the DC3 is powering. Now what you will be doing if you don't have a particularly good front end is getting a decent sound but you will probably end up with slightly looser bass the instruments won't be quite as well defined in space and I found that um, you know putting this very very large power supply onto this kit made a tremendous difference so one of the th mistakes I see from people is that they spend a lot of money on DACs and don't spend any time on what's feeding that DAC 
So be careful of that because the Lampazeta is very much affected by what you put into it. Now we all hope that it wouldn't be because DAX should just take a signal, reclock them, make it all perfect. But unfortunately, having listened to it, and again, I'll point out this very large power supply here, it does make a significant difference to have a better front end. Well, I hope you found that useful. That's um, my comprehensive review of the Lampazeta. If you've got any questions, obviously, let me know. Uh, I would finally say that in terms of the life of valves, this is not a power amp, so the valves you're looking at here are going to last for years and years. You don't really have to worry about them wearing out or blowing up. It really is not driving these very hard. So once you've bought these valves, you can run them for a while and potentially sell them. But from a sound perspective, I think it's fantastic. It is, so slightly romantic, if you want to call it that. Um, it throws a wide sound stage. It is believable. When you listen to vocals, they're going to be like someone's really singing. They're not going to be artificial. It's not got a sterile presentation. And from a flow and a just listen kind of perspective, it's easy just to listen to the music as opposed to sit there trying to pick out technical aspects of the DAC. After a short amount of time, you stop thinking about this very large expensive box and you start thinking about how fantastic it sounds. And that's really what music's about. So one of the things that's nice about this is that it doesn't draw a lot of attention to itself. It doesn't get in the way. After a few hours of listening to music, and uh, you know, you can sit down for two or three hours with kit like this, it isn't boring. And following the initial conversations, which I usually do when people come to visit about all the kit, um, the kit just fades into the background and it becomes about the music. And that's probably the highest compliment you can pay good high-end kit is that it doesn't draw attention to itself, that you are just listening to records and that you really want to put the next record on. If you have kit that you are continually looking at, listening to for technical aspects, that doesn't really allow you to relax, you're excited by the sound, but you're constantly thinking about what about the next bit of kit or what about this plug or what about that and you're not really sitting down for two or three hours and enjoying it, then you're probably doing it wrong.